Hello everyone, this is Enzo Eigen on the Alliance for Loki. And these three masteries, Willpower, Quagley, and Suture, I call the Band-Aid masteries because they help you <laughs> tend your wounds, especially if you're running the damage masteries. Um, and so I wanted to do a quick analysis and just see how much each one is worth. And, and you always have the decision how many points to put in each of them. And I'm just trying to make an informed decision with some analysis of these. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Willpower. And Willpower gives you healing when you have debuffs on you. Um, you can see there's a, a funny scaling. You get 0.5% for the first point, and then just 0.6 and 0.7 for the second and third. And then the way I'm sort of going to do this analysis is I'm doing this fight. This is my rank five, no, sorry, my rank four uh, six star Doom. And I'm having him auto fight or just sit there and get hit against <laughs> this one star Colossus. So not much damage from Colossus, but I can sort of look at the data about the um, the damage that the damage masteries are doing versus the um, the healing I get. So this is one point of willpower, which is 0.5%. And you can see I have the 500, uh, the red number, that's the damage from the bleed and the poison, and the plus 125 is the um, is the regen from the one point in, in, uh, in willpower. And so what I've done is I've made a spreadsheet to try to analyze all this data. So so you're taking 500 points of bleed damage from those two damage masteries and the very top column is if you have no um, willpower on at all so um, it's 16 seconds worth of damage and so that's 32 ticks because every tick is a half second um, so 16,000 damage i take in total and that means doom is going to lose 29% of his health, basically 30% of his health if he had no willpower on whatsoever now you can see with one point in willpower, that 0.5%, I get the 125 um, per tick healing from the willpower. And that is going to make a difference of um, 7%, 8%. So I'm at 22% loss of health as opposed to 29% loss of health. And to verify this, so I wanted to go in and actually look and see if this was true. So I went back to the game and saw what was the amount of health left after I'd finished this fight. And again, so my data said it should be about 22%, so it's about 78. And so I go and wait till the bleed falls off, which is right around here. You know, 79%, I mean, fine. The 1% off doesn't, doesn't make too much concern. So I'm pretty sure that this data is, is relevant. Okay, so that was the fight with one point in willpower. Almost everyone, though, who runs willpower puts in three points. So I go ahead and put up to three points, do the same test again, and same, you know, same fight and just let myself get hit. And again, you can see the difference. 500 points of damage, that hasn't changed, but I have 175 regen as opposed to uh, 125. And so from there, if we take a look at the, uh, the data, so now I have three points in willpower and that leads me to having only about 19% of my health loss. And so, so yeah, of course, more damage is better. And you can see the scaling of willpower because the first point gives you lots of extra, um, extra change, like about 7%. And then each next point is only, you know, for a cumulative total of 1.5% of for the next two points. Um, and so, yeah, willpower is a great mastery, and of course, it definitely is nice to have, and it works for many debuffs, not just, of course, the two I'm, I'm looking at. So th there's even more ideas behind willpower that is just beyond the sort of simple, the simple analysis. So willpower looks great, um, and then I went ahead and looked at um, suture. No, no, sorry, coagulate. So coagulate is a ma is mastery that re reduces the damage of the bleed, and so let's just scroll over to real quick. And here's coagulate, and you can see at three out of three, it reduces it by 30% the amount of damage it's doing. So again, a pretty significant amount uh, for three points. And then when I look at the um, the gameplay, same fight, you can see, uh, let's just stop the right place. Uh, sometimes the scrolling is not so easy. There it is. <laughs> so it's 400 points of damage he's taking, and then he's regening 175. And so obviously it, it did a lot less damage because you have coagulate on 30% um, and 30% of 500 doesn't seem like 399 but again there's a lot going on I mean because um, it's only affecting the bleed and so it's 30% of the bleed not the poison so there's a lot of like more difficult microanalysis but the point is it's, it's helping <laughs> it's doing a lot less about 20% less I guess is four fists so 400 out of 500 um, and of course the 
175 some willpower okay so now that we have that let's take a look and see how the data um, is reflected in this okay so now we have three points in, in uh, coagulate and we can see it does less damage 400 damage and from that we have that um, you're only taking about 13 percent total damage uh, from the damage mastery as that means the bleed and the poison um, and so if you want to take a look at that for verif verification um, what is that about 87 percent once you have gone through the bleed and let's just again we'll do one more last double check just to make sure that this all seems correct and so where do they end they're ending right about here yes 86 percent, 87 percent. so correct losing about 13 percent, 14 percent of your health so that's good um that's definitely you know is, is keeping him more alive and then the last um test is of course going to be um with the last of the band-aid mas masteries which is suture and so suture um it uh, reduces the duration of the bleed debuff. And it's another one of these strange scaling ones where it scales like a 10, 5, 5. So, you know, the first point gives you 10% and then it's 15 and 20% for the next two points. So one of these, again, strange scalings, but I, I just put three out of three in here just to make uh, it simple. And you can see in the fight that the damage and and uh, is still the same. It's still 400 for the for the damages and plus 175 doesn't affect that but it does make the bleed go much quicker so the bleed is finished in um, 12 seconds i believe as opposed to 16. i think that's 20 percent of 16 is 12. Um, maybe not but um, anyway if we take a look again at the the data behind this what does it say so um, if you look at this the last column is with all three of the band-aid masteries at max mastery and we have that it is uh 10 percent is your final result so it's only uh 24 25 ticks with um because 20 percent of 32 is 25 so i wasn't quite sure how to put that in but um you can see that the final ticks um are 25 which means you're just suffering from bleed a lot less and that means your total damage ends up being oh, about 10 percent less of your starting health so what is the conclusion i drawn from this well here's a couple of things um i would say obviously one point in willpower is the absolute necessity i mean the amount of D damage reduction you get from the damage re um, masteries is incredible and i think people maybe overlook like only putting one point of willpower in it so for instance let's say you want to do a really cool creative build you need a lot of points elsewhere in your masteries such as you want to use symbiote supreme with like max deep wounds and five out of five and mystic dispersion that's a lot of points you need in the non-defense tree you can get away with running one out of one in willpower and get you know significant healing from the damage masteries uh, my second conclusion is, you know, between adding points and willpower, the extra two points, um, again, it's good because you're going to get more healing and and it also affects other healings too. Like if you, you know, get stunned, you're going to have healing in all sorts of other places anytime you get a debuff. So I would say it's it's worth it, the three out of three in willpower. Um, you know, you're getting, for the three points, you get about 2%, a little more, uh, about 1.5% of um, damage reduction. Coagulate is the first sort of interesting decision you get to make. I would say coagulate seems to be a pretty powerful mastery as far as helping you be more sustainable. Um, you get 6% total for the three points, which is roughly 2% each, which to me represents a pretty good value. Obviously, the one point in willpower is the best value by far and everything else. I'm looking for, you know, 1%, 2%, um, you know, gain. And so it's really on the high side of that. It's 2%. Um, suture as the last one i would say those three points are definitely the weakest of the points I mean, you're getting one percent per point and so those are the ones i would say are probably not as as um as uh, good as the other two where they're not as good <laughs> if you go by if you go by the the data so so where does this leave me well obviously if you have all three band-aid masteries max you are going to get the most sustainable champion you can get. So if your biggest concern is having a really sustainable champion with using the damage masteries, then you can max them out. It costs you nine points, but the nine points are very well worth it. I mean, you're only taking um, you're only taking 10% damage um, at the end as opposed to you know the greater damage with only one point in willpower, which is you know 22%. So every point you put in is going to help your character be more sustainable. Um, 
personally, my conclusion is I'm going to keep on running 3 out 3 in Willpower and 3 out 3 in Coagulate because I feel like that's the best value. Like you're getting pretty good value from your Willpower and your Coagulate, at least 2% around per point. And then, and then the extra 3 in Suture then just becomes a little too, too expensive for me. Like I don't mind... Um, I, I, I like the jump from 90%, 19% damage to 13% with the coagulate. 13 to 10%, I don't feel is quite as meaningful for those next three points. So that's that's sort of my thinking behind this. I feel the coagulate masteries are worth it. The suture ones aren't as much, but in general, they're all good for sustainability. Um, of course, there's a lot of factors going into all this. It's like, what are your other builds? Where do you want to put other points in your masteries? And of course, there's like an infinite amount of complexities in this discussion. But I just thought it was interesting to take a look at, um, at Willpower, Coagulate, and Suture and just see which ones seem to make uh, good value for me. Um, and of course, also with the damage masteries too, you always have that poison on. That's another consideration too, which, you know, Willpower deals with the poison. So that's probably why it's always worth having 3 out 3 in Willpower, where the other two then are not at all affected by the uh, by the poison because they deal only with bleed debuffs. So there's also a little bit of a calculation about, you know, this is just in the beginning of the fight and then you will keep on having the, the poison damage, which is adjusted by the Willpower only. So, well, I hope you found this video interesting. I just had sort of wanted to make sort of a, a more um, interesting analysis of some of the parts of the game, you know, with, with just looking numerically and trying to make a good decision with that. Let me know, of course, in your thoughts in the comments what you think about this video and whether you agree or disagree or, or yeah, have any other thoughts on the Band-Aid Masteries. So I hope to see you soon in another video. And I will certainly see you again, <laughs> hopefully, um, in, in some more content. Bye-bye.